Hi, I'm Caitlin O'Connell from the marketing team here at Stone Temple Consulting. And I'm Eric Inga, CEO of Stone Temple Consulting. So Eric, tell the viewers about our new study on Rich Answers. Happy to. Well, we looked at 855,000 queries uh, in both Google and Bing, and we draw 250,000 of those queries from Bing Suggest, 250,000 queries out of Google Autocomplete, and then 355,000 more queries that we manually generated here at Stone Temple Consulting. And we looked at all of those in both Bing and Google to see how many times they responded with a rich answer uh, in the search result and what those uh, rich answers looked like. So what were the results like? It was really cool. We uh, uh, found that Google responded almost 20% of the time um, uh, with a rich answer and with all kinds of different types of rich answers. We had sliders, for example, if you ask what, what is the time zone in Russia, were there many time zones? It gives you kind of a little table, but then you click on them and results slide out. Uh, forms in the search results, like a mortgage calculator will give you a little form. Uh, tables of data, um, uh, graphs or charts, uh, like if what is GDP of the U.S., and it'll give you a nice little uh, graph. Uh, and even uh, rich anchor text in some situations, like how to install WordPress, it'll actually give you that, and then it'll give you a link right to the place where you do that, and it will actually say install WordPress in there, and then lists you know, or step-by-step -step instructions. So tons of different ki kinds of data. That's all really interesting. So were there any other cool findings? Well, one other thing we wanted to look at was how Google does in providing attribution or credit where credit is due. Uh, and the overwhelming majority of the time, uh, they include an attribution link. But we did find uh, 47,000, actually about 44,000 cases where they um, didn't do so. So we examined all of those to figure out whether the information was public domain and hence no attribution was due or something uh, of that kind. And again, the great majority of that time, it was public domain info when they didn't provide that kind of link. Wow, that's really great stuff. All right, thank you everybody for watching and hope you enjoy reading the study.